I'm here with the plan with me and I'm gonna take you through my weekly planning routine. So let's get into it. Friends, to introduce myself, I'm Sherry Shares Plans. I share my planner ideas, reviews, and inspirations here on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. So check those out. The links will be in the description of this video. And like I said, in today's video, I was gonna do like my weekly plan with me that I sometimes share with you guys, but I thought this would be like a good time to go through um, my weekly planning routine and what that looks like for me. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, I was, I was kind of putting this off on sharing my weekly planning routine with you all because I, I think I'm still trying to make it work. So one of my goals for the year was to have a better um, planning routine when it comes to like my weekly planning, my monthly planning, and you know, make sure I'm doing all the, the things I want to do. I'm checking in with everything like I want to do. So one of those things was what I did was I, I, I'm using this um, Aaron Condren checklist journal. I think this might be an older cover. I think there might be a newer one out, but essentially it is um, this layout. It's like this checklist journal, it's this checklist journal layout. And um, I was using it, some of it for like content, videos, and reels, and I still might continue doing that. But what I did was I created this weekly um, planning routine where I wrote out like what I want to plan for each week, and then I have a monthly planning routine. And as you can see, that has not been going perfectly. See like, I, sometimes I just like don't mark this stuff off because this stuff is done but I still have some other stuff to do, even for February's planning. I never set any February monthly goals or set up the habit tracker, and so I'm probably gonna be working on that today. I think this video might be uh, starting something, coming back, working on something, and coming back instead of trying to film everything, because then that'd be like a really long video. Um, so anyways, this is what my weekly planning routine looks like. I am doing like the week ending date here. I've got weekly planning in like my compact vertical, my daily planning, weekly goals, checking in on my habit tracker and updating that, checking in on uh, budget, updating um, my spending. I've been tracking like my planning, spending, planner stuff. And then um, like today's payday, so what bills, paying bills, stuff like that. Um, content coming up for like the following week. So if there's any sales or events going on that I need to make sure that I have um, that planned and scheduled and then what videos I'm doing and posts that are going up and then weekly reflections. So that's pretty much what my weekly planning routine should be looking like. I didn't even check in with this last week. The week before that I wrote as far as writing in the date Last week in January, this worked out really good. Actually, the two last weeks in January worked out really good, but then there was like a whole week where I didn't check in. Anyways, it's a work in progress, and I was going to, like I said, share it when it was a good system and everything was going great, but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys what my work in progress is and um, what that's looking like. So this is a good way for me that I'm using this uh, checklist journal here. So again, I have weekly planning on a page. What, I, what I'll probably do is, so I have my monthly planning and um, you'll see too, maybe I'll do like a monthly planning video for March because I'm already like working through February stuff. So I'll ch continue checking this off, but this weekly planning, I'll probably do like front and back, but then I might just skip around and use some of these pages that way. Um, but yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. Again, like I said, I, I also was thinking about adding my content stuff back in here, but I also have my content. I have a different content planner I've been using, so maybe I won't. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into this. So I, I started, again, to try to make this video um, go through a little quicker. I started to lay down some stickers in my compact vertical. I have my weekly planning pad here from Plan With Lincoln. I kind of use this as like a rough idea, sketch out um, kind of some ideas what I have for the week. Um, this may feel a little redundant and I agree that it totally 
not re repetitive. Yes, I agree that like it totally is like repetitive. I have it on here and then again in my planner and then my daily planner, but things change. This is just kind of my general idea how I think my week's gonna go. Um, work schedule times, stuff I'm gonna work on, stuff like that. So this kind of gives me the rough idea. I go in and plan a little bit more in my weekly planner here. So let's go ahead and work on that. I am working using Planner Kate Mini Kit 508. I thought this was gonna work out for a good Valentine's week kit for me. Um, I have the sampler sheet. Let's show you. Let me show you guys what I have. I have the sampler sheet. I have the compact vertical sheet. I have. These add-ons, oh, this is a compact vertical. This is gonna work in my compact vertical or in my daily duo. I think there's a little bit of a size difference on these, but I buy one of these and use them either in my compact vertical or my A5 daily duo. The large scripts, I like using these in my daily duo. And this is the uh, dates and stars, um, the dates and the icons and I'll use this sheet in my daily duo as well. So I'm gonna hang on to those over there. I have this sheet here with the, I bought the to-do list style on this one. I think I was just trying to figure out what worked for me here. And I'm still really not even sure if I'm gonna use this corner box here too much, but it has more of these flags and stars and hearts that I like. So let's go ahead and see what we got. I like using these full boxes for putting in my work. I've been liking the way that's been looking here in my planner. So, and this works out for me this week because I'm only working four days this week. February tends to be, um, has been, a little bit of a busy month for me, partly because I have Go Wild coming up at the end of the month, so that's taken up like a lot of my headspace and planning and just kind of thinking about Go Wild and stuff. And then the other thing is, is my school term ends at the end of February and where I should be focusing on school and finishing up that, my last class I have in there. I get distracted with go wild and stuff. So what I do every other week, um, I usually get a day off from work, like a Wednesday off from work. So that's this Wednesday, but this past week and the week the following week, I'm taking Thursdays off um, as well. So for like the entire month of February, I'm only working four days a week up until like my week off for go wild. So this is what my February spread looks like. Um, so today's the 10th, it's payday. I'm planning on for the next week. I've got Wednesday the 15th off as long as everything goes according to plan. This is one of those days that they can always cancel um, if things go sideways and they need me to come to work, which I hope they won't, but it can happen. Um, I'm just gonna put this right here because I don't really have a lot going on these days. I have, let me put some of these in. I have to cover the overnight shift on Sunday and I don't love it, but that's kind of the, the way things go in my position. Um, being salary, the salary supervisor on that shift, I sometimes have to make those adjustments. So I'm working like at 6 p.m. on Saturday and working overnight. Then almost have to double back for my Monday shift there. So, like I said, don't love it, but it is what it is. Let me see. I have these little work stickers and I have these. I think I had Maybe they're bigger ones. I just went through and shared like my entire Chrissy Ann Designs collection. On another video and now, 
I know what sheet I'm looking for. I just don't know if it's a full sheet or it was a mini sheet. Yes, these ones. These ones are so cute. These little works. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use these colors. Okay, so Sunday I'm going into work really late, so I don't have any plans on Sunday. I know the Super Bowl is on Sunday. I was trying to see if anybody had like a Super Bowl sticker, but I don't think they do. But I have like a game day, yes, I have a game day sticker. I'm gonna just use that. I was thinking point out this binder and using some of my past past kits. One of these had like the timed. I had bought a bunch of timed. Losing my mind. There's the sheet I was looking for. Okay, so I was thinking about using something like this. It almost looks black. 6 p.m. Work. Okay. So work Sunday. Uh, Monday I'm pretty much sleeping until I have to get ready for work again. Um, so nothing's going on on Monday. Tuesday, it is Valentine's Day. We don't really celebrate Valentine's Day in this house, so nothing really special going on there. Um, maybe if I have... In my little doodle book here. I'm gonna use that Valentine's Day. Why not? this in here okay so Tuesday's Valentine's Day um, Wednesday oh, I do have that I'm gonna walk the dogs these three days I should check the weather because last week I planned on walking the dogs and didn't most of the week because of the weather we got rained out a couple days and it was really wet the days after that and didn't make for good walking weather around the park, around our um, pond area. Well, it just looks like it's going to be Wednesday, windy. Warm and windy on Tuesday and Wednesday and then it's going to cool down Thursday. Great, but no rain. So we'll plan on walking the dogs. I've been using... Um, script stickers from on our plans. These were a custom ones that I had made. I almost ordered more, but I think I have a couple sheets still. So let's get some flags. I think I might. So I've been kind of working on this as part of my routine, but the walking, the dogs has pretty much been like my physical activity I've been doing. Just because I'm still trying to get used to like this new work schedule, but I'm also trying to make sure like the dogs are getting the time and attention that they need because they're also not getting, not having as much time to play with us. So I want to get them their their time walking around and stuff like that as much as I can on these days. Um, so Wednesday my plan is to walk the dogs, working on a school assignment most of the day. Maybe I'm gonna use one of these big ones here. But that's my plan is the school assignment. 
and trying to get as much as I can done for that. Got a lot of homework stickers. A lot of homework stickers in there. I need like a whole sheet of like these bigger doodle girls. Cause I have multiple sheets of the doodle girls, but I like you use two sheets worth of the big ones already. Okay. So walking the dogs, working on homework. And then I wrote down swaps, but I don't think I'm going to write that in on here. Cause I think that's kind of like a less important thing than the homework. <laughs> so I don't think I'll put that on there. Um, Thursday, walking the dogs and work. I'm trying to think if I have anything important going on at work this week, but I don't think I have anything that I need to mention. Um, Friday, groceries. I probably need to on this Friday is, um, pick up prescription for my dog, Maddie. That's, he's probably going to be due to have that picked up by this day. So I'll put that on here and I'll put all my to-do lists. Okay. Put my laundry day, my clean house here. Typical Saturday stuff. I should put day off. Let's use one of these. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this planning time. I'm, I've been putting it like on Saturdays, but really I've been doing most of my planning on Fridays. That looks crooked. Okay. Got it. Yep. So I think that's what my weekly routine, um, planning routine is going to look like. I'm going to start working on my planning in my daily planner and then I'll check in with you. Okay. So I was going through working on setting up my daily planner and I, so in my efforts to save some money buying less stickers, less sticker sheets this year, I'm using a lot of my stash and I decided to pull out this really cute washi from Planner K. I think this was from last year. I don't even know it's available anymore, but it's these really cute like coffee with hearts and stuff. And then there's this, like this was a matching set, the matching set here. So I decorated my planner with that. I used these date covers here on the daily spreads, not really even necessary. Now that I'm thinking about it, this could be something else that I could cut from my spending, but I also like having all these hearts and doodles and circles and all that in matching colors. Um, so I didn't, what I do kind of here in my daily is I like to set up like a basic frame of like decorating or stickers or something like that. That way when the day comes and if I'm using my daily planner, like if I have to-dos and other stuff like that going on where I'm using my daily planner, I'll come back in here, write out the to-do list, schedule and some stuff. But if I don't have anything, this is it kind of does have a plan. So example is Wednesday I worked, didn't look at my planner at all, didn't look at my daily planner at all. Thursday I had the day off, used this to-do list, kind of looked at my planner there, wrote out some stuff. So 
it kind of really just depends on what the day looks like. Um, but I do like to kind of start with something in here. The other thing I did was I haven't been using this lined page here. I was using the notes companion pages from Planner Kate in here and kind of making like my own weekly dashboard of to-do lists and things. I haven't been using it so much, but I kind of think I might just use this as a general brain dump page, um, which I'll probably do later today because some of the stuff that goes up on my brain dump page, obviously I'm just brain dumping, right? But some of it I'm taking care of today, some of it next week. Um, but I just threw some washi on there and this must do sticker. And yeah, I'll probably just work on that. So Monday I've got the trash out. I'm sleeping in because I'm working that night, working on Monday around 1.30. And then Tuesday, walking the dogs, working, Valentine's Day there. Oh, that's what I forgot. So, not this blender. That's why my planning is all over the place. So the Celebrations collection is, I have these um, stickers, the celebration stickers here, and I forget to use them. And... See, I have this really cute Valentine's Day one here. I think I'll just put that there, whatever. Um, but I use the Chrissy Ann Designs holidays in my daily planner and put those on there. And But these stickers right here are from Chrissy Ann Designs Celebrations Collection from last year, but I really like the colors on those. This year's colors for the Valentine's Day were a little bit more a little bit different. Still really cute. These are really cute. And I'm actually wishing I'd use that weekend sticker. Hmm. I might change it. Might change it. I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna leave it. But uh, so I put the I put these holidays in here, and I almost forgot to do that. I'm gonna wipe this out. I don't really like, I can do without this little calendar here. I don't know about y'all, but tell Aaron Condren I can do without that little calendar there. So let's see, yeah, that's what I, I want to, I almost forgot, I want to put these in here. Um, so Wednesday, again, I had some other stuff like my homework and everything like that run down in there that I wanted to do in here, but I I didn't schedule that in. It's kind of one of those things that I'll I'll do. I'll put that in here. Um, 17th, that goes there. But Thursday again, I've walked the dogs and work. Friday. So I updated the holidays in here that I wanted to add. The other thing I need to come in here and do. See, I didn't even do it back this far. Okay. I have another sheet. Okay. I've been using these um Planner Kate stickers, countdown stickers. I even totally forgot to put it in last week. I'll probably go back through and add those in. I've been putting them in my weekly calendar and in my daily and just kind of trying to, just reminders that this is my go wild countdown that that is coming up. So excited for go wild. Oh my goodness, okay, let's put that there. That's not right. Okay. So put those in my daily. I also added them in here to my weekly planner and I forgot I added in the Planner Kate um, Wacky Holidays in here. I added the Planner Kate Wacky Holidays in here as well. Something I put in my weekly planner. My daily planner is all set up. Again, just adding the big things that are going on and then I'll add tasks and, you know, any other plans that come up throughout the week. So that is the daily planning as part of my weekly routine. Um, now, okay, so we have weekly planning, we have the daily planning. Um, I'm going to take some time here and look at my goals because I need to set monthly goals and then I can set my weekly goals, setting up my habit tracker, what that's going to look like. Budget, um, budgeting's not something 
I am sharing on this page. It's not, <laughs> budgeting's not something I'm sharing on this page. I'm not a, um, I'm not really like a budgeter. I, when I say budgeting, I'm really, I have my monthly bills. We have our, you know, paydays, we have bills to pay, and then I've got a system to track that. Um, I'm tracking what I'm spending on planning stuff to be more conscious and aware of how much I'm spending. It's also for some tax purposing. So that's pretty much the whole budgeting concept. So I'm going to check that off because um, I've done my budgeting for our paycheck this week and, you know, t discussing paying bills when my boyfriend gets home, but that's pretty much set there. And then I have content to look at and reflections to do and that is where we're at in our planning routine <laughs> okay so checking it again i've quickly um i felt like i needed to do my february monthly goals first i kind of wrote out some stuff i don't normally like doing my goal planning this way it felt a little rushed because i am trying to plan like my whole and film my whole um planning routine all at once so I think I've said this before and like why I don't, why I haven't filmed my planning routine is partly because like I said, it's still something under construction. And the other part of that is, um, it's kind of a lot and I don't like to feel rushed doing it. I like to kind of do it at my pace and whenever I feel inspired to do something, but I use that checklist to make sure I don't forget anything, right? So, um, I did kind of write down some stuff in here, um, uh, just generally what I need to do in February. Again, this doesn't, fe it feels like so much more than what's on here, but here it is. So my February goals really quickly, I just have my weekly and planning routines in here for my personal goals. I've got um, under fun and recreation, go wild, planning. Um, and then there's a lot more to that. So that's gonna go for the next few weeks, some go wild stuff getting ready for go wild. Um, work and learning, I've got just schoolwork. Um, I've got a values leadership, values based leadership class that I'm working on. Um, so I have task one and task two to finish of that. And then just finishing the term. Once those two things are checked off, then the finished term, they won't be checked off. Um, no goals under family relationships, although I probably need to schedule a call and video chat with my family at some point soon. Health and wellness, like I said, right now, I was trying to get into like a weightlifting, working out kind of routine but right now i think i'm just going to focus on walking the dogs in the mornings um doing the carnivore diet still and then reaching my water goals daily which we're doing really good and i think we've kind of took a couple steps back so just something to focus on again uh financial tracking my planner spending um go wild budget just making sure um you know credit cards I'm taking, notifying those um, companies that I'm traveling, uh, selling some items to get some extra spending cash, um, stuff like that. So, and then I've got sell items on here too. I've got some planner items that I'm, I'm working on selling, some other household items I'm selling in my neighborhood. Um, so yes, that's what I'm working on there. And then for, I also put declutter items to sell and I've checked that, I wrote that in here and then checked it off immediately because that was one thing I wanted to make sure I got done this month. So that's that and then going in here to week seven of my weekly goals so both these um washi tapes i should say too i put the washi tape at the top that's from simply gilded um but so week seven goals weekly planning routine um fun and recreation go wild planning and then working on some swaps that i'm making uh goal for this next week is Yes, because currently it's week six. So next week is week seven. That's right. So that will be to complete that first task. Um, health and wellness. I know what I should. I think I'm going to put a haircut on here too now that I'm thinking about it. Because um, something I, I want to do sooner than later. So the way I've been making these little boxes on here is I use this metal Moxie Life stencil ruler. Oh, stencil bookmark moxie life metal stencil bookmark that's the name and i make a little highlight there and then i draw a little box around it i think i saw Lindsay at my crafting plans did that and i really like the way it looks so i've been doing that as well um personal i'm just gonna put a haircut because that's something that needs to get done soon 
and I could do that this next week. So weekly planning routine, haircut, go wild planning, swaps, task one, health and wellness, um, walking the dogs, sticking to the carnivore diet, water goals this week, and then financial track my spending, selling the items, and then I need to make a trip to the bank. I wrote that on here, but then I'm thinking I might put that off a week. So, and then physical environment, that's kind of where I put my stuff for my dogs too. So, um, picking up Maddie's meds and then decluttering items. And I think I, that I put on here just in case there's anything else I need to check and make sure I get. So, checking in with the planning routine here. Weekly planning routine. Goals are done and I can put goals down for February monthly as well. Um, budget I said I did. Um, -da -da -da. So content I'm not <laughs> content I'm not gonna share. Part of that is is because there's stuff coming up this next week that I can't share and I don't Oh, I think, I think I can. So, um, s the spring seasonal surprise box, a surprise, is being released and so what I can share, um, content, again, I'm not like totally going to get into, um, my content planning because some of the stuff I don't want to share too soon but what I can share is because I think I'm gonna put this video up Monday is that the spring seasonal surprise box from Erin Condren is launching on February 21st so excited it's um, I have the box it's beautiful I'm gonna be filming some teaser videos and I'm gonna be filming a spoiler video so I have that ready to go when I can share that stuff so so excited about this spring seasonal surprise box they're also offering 10 percent off your cart when you buy the seasonal surprise box so the seasonal surprise box starts at 40 dollars. you're going to have the option to pick a cover and customize the size again you're also going to have the option for a deluxe add-on which they've done a, the last couple times and it's so awesome i love that they've done that so I'm gonna film a whole teaser video and do some more filming on that later, but that is launching on February 21st, 10% off everything else in your cart when you purchase that seasonal surprise box. So put that in your calendars. Please remember to use my affiliate link when you make a purchase. It shows Aaron Condren that I helped remind you and influenced you to shop and they do pay me a small commission. It's at no extra cost to you. It just helps me out so, so much when you do that. I'm always so thankful when I see those sales hit my affiliate um, links there. So thank you guys again. Um, that's, that's one thing that I'm gonna share. I don't think I have anything else big to share, but I am working on some other content for next week. And yeah, so I'm not going to cross that off yet because that's something I'm going to work on behind the scenes. Reflections, um, I don't think I'm going to do that this week because I didn't set any goals for last week. So, I mean, I could reflect on what that was like without having goals. But again, I think that might be something I might do later when I have time and I'm feeling I'm a little bit more inspired to do that. But I am going to show you guys my habit tracker. Let's set up the habit tracker because I haven't even set that up yet for February. So you can see January didn't go great either. Here's February. What I did do, so this is a Clever Fox habit tracker and I shared this in my Clever Fox haul but this is the habit calendar. This is what the habit tracker looks like. I love this thing. It's so cute. Um, I love it. it has room for daily, weekly, and monthly habits. And you've got like 12 rooms for daily habits there. And again, this is something I want to try to remember to use, but I'm already like 10 days into February and haven't used it yet. So I'm not sure what I want to put in here. Like I said, like I haven't been, um, gosh, I don't, I haven't been doing so great at using this thing and keeping track. So, like meditation and journaling, I haven't even started doing any of that. So, I don't even know if I want to put that on here. But water goals and the carnivore diet. 
days that I stick to the diet. I want to put that on here. And then let's start with um, let's start with goals check-in. So what goals check-in looks like for me is that I'm um, coming to my office and I'm looking at and acknowledging what habits or goals I did hit and do for the day. And then even if I don't check this every day, but I go, I, I want to check the days that I'm checking in with it. That's an easy check mark, right? And then when I do the other things, I'll check that off that I'm doing that as well. So goals check in and let's start with, um, water goals. I think right now my water goal is around like 70 to 80 ounces of water and I was hitting that really easily and then kind of fell off of that wagon so I need to work on that some more. And then this carnivore diet thing that we've been doing, um, checking off the days that I'm actually sticking to that. My boyfriend is really good at sticking to the diet. I am not so good. I, I do try to stick to the diet, um, most of the way. And, um, but some days I just, I just, there's something out there and I, eat like one thing that's off the diet and that just I'll scratch the diet for that like that will be scratched for the day but the thing about the carnivore diet which makes it really good it's just it's a really low carb diet and um we him and I have both lost a lot of weight together I think we're total almost like 70 pounds lost together so it's been really good for us um it's been working for us so that's something we do a lot of people have different um you know ideas and decisions they make with their diets that's what we're doing right now so um i have that in here i think i'm gonna write walk dogs let's write walk dogs because i don't think it's something i'm gonna do every day but i do want to kind of keep track and see how many times a week i'm doing that um something to keep track of there and then that's a lot of like health and wellness um, in my goals right there. Weekly, I don't know. Let me put track spending because that's something I want to make sure I do. Check in once a week. And then. Monthly. This is where I kind of put my school stuff in for monthly is. Normally, like if I have school stuff, I kind of just write out each task and maybe I'll write like my big goals, like how much work I'm actually uh, hoping to accomplish. But um, I just have this last class is the last one I'm going to do. So like in December, I wrote down two different tasks, a comp and benefits class, and then reading some books in here and I'd mark nothing down that week. So, oh, brushing the dogs. That was something I wanted to put in here for weekly also. Um, but since that's the end of my term with this, that's all I'm going to put in there for monthly. Um, let's see, let me put in, we're going to go back and put all the way Back to week two, four in here, even though I didn't do that. And I might try to backtrack some of this and remember what days I did what. And I'll probably here do that in a minute. But that is my habit tracker. I have this pinned and it sits up on my wall. So it's something I see um, daily in my office. Um, but I just, I got to make sure to check in with it more. So there it is. That's how it's set up. So, last things to mark off there is the habit tracker for the weekly planning and the habit tracker for the monthly. Um, I have, like I said, content and monthly tasks and monthly reflections that I haven't done for February yet. And then the rest of my content and 
reflections if I do some for my weekly planning. But that is it as far as my planning routine. One thing oh, I do want to add, I wanted to add on here. I might, I might change this. Instead of monthly tasks, I think I'm going to put notes pages on this. And then I'm going to do that because One, my monthly tasks are located in my notes pages section. But two, when I just filmed my flip through of my compact vertical, what I've used so far for 2022, I realized how underutilized my notes pages were. And I made a note to update my notes pages. So I want to go back through there, update my notes pages, and then add that in as part of my monthly planning. So make sure monthly I'm at least going in there and looking at that and updating it as well. So... Anyways, but I think I will plan on filming a monthly planning routine, kind of set up and see what that looks like soon. I think that's everything, like I said, I'm going to share with you guys. I've got um, links for some of my shops that I use and affiliate links in the description of this video. So please be sure to check that out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section or if you have any ideas or advice for a planning routine. I'd love to hear them. Thank you all again so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.